Pardon me. Could you direct me to the cafe of the Three Dragomans? Why, yes, miss, of course. But uh, if you don't mind my saying so, it's hardly a place for a young lady like yourself without an escort. I know. I, I tried to hire a cab, but the driver said the streets were too narrow and crooked in this part of town. I'd suggest you return to your hotel, miss, and come back by daylight. It's safer. I only wish I could. I, I'm afraid my business won't wait. In fact, I think I'm too late as it is. Then I'll walk with you to the end of my beat. I'm sorry it doesn't go as far as the Three Dragomans. As tricks. Que tal, amigo? Where you been last month? My business must be picking up, eh? Yeah, that ain't too bad. I've been off in the bush with some picnickers. That fellow at the table, you know him? I've never seen him before in my life. What do you know about him? No say nada, not a thing. He say his name is Winters. Winters. Been hanging around here for a week looking for you. Why me, I wonder. Plenty of other guides. Mind if I join you, mate? Help yourself, I was just leaving. No, no, don't be in hurry, Governor. I hear you're looking for a guide. No, I'm not. Well, then why have you been hanging about looking for Charlie Pullum, might I ask? Now, that's something I'll tell Pullum when and if I ever meet him. Oh, speak up, Mr. Winters. I'm in. You're Charlie Pullum? <laughs> I'd begun to think you were a myth. I suppose you have proper identification. That I have. Here you are. Everybody around here knows Charlie Pullum. Waiter. Refill. What do you have? I never touch this stuff myself, only as a medicine. Now, it's funny, I've got a touch of fever coming on at the moment. I'll have a double gin and bitters. Now, what is it you need of me if you ain't in need of a guide? I've been told you can give me some information I want. Oh, you have indeed. What sort of information might I ask? I want to pick up a batch of uncut diamonds. Now, you don't need me for that, Governor. The government takes care of all the diamond sales. Not all, Mr. Pullum. Sorry, mate, you're barking down the wrong rat hole. I don't know nothing, and if I did, I wouldn't be sticking my neck out, I wouldn't. The chap I met in Cape Town said you would. Well, and what might his name be? Well, he said you wouldn't know the name he's using now. He said I just mentioned Mombasa, August 1937. What did this bloke say about Mombasa 1937? Just said to mention it so you'd know who he is. Well, if old Narky sent you, you must be a writing. Now... Now, what's in this for me if I can find what you're looking for? Now, I ain't saying I can, mind you. Two hundred pounds? Now, you can't buy an honest man with two hundred quid, Governor. Make it four and I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll split the difference. Half down and the rest when you deliver. Done. And you pay regular guide rates while on safari. Safari? What safari? To a mind what I know does a bit of business under the table. You don't think I can find what you're looking for in Aunt Addie's teapot, do you? Well, how long will it take us to get ready? Well, I got my boys and the gear down at the compound. We could stay there tonight and leave first off in the morning. It's a deal. Here, yeah. don't flash your roll here, Governor. Taking a shortcut to the compound, Tony, if you don't mind. Come in.
Mr. Gonzalez? Your name is not Gonzalez, amigo. Find yourself a table and sit on it. What it was you wanted, senorita? I'm looking for a man named Winters, Mr. Gonzalez. I understand you might be able to help me find him. Quien se lo dijo? Uh, who told you that? I'd rather not say, but... But he's been in here several times lately. It's possible. I don't know many customers by name. They come, senorita, and they go. You know how it is. He's an American. He's about your height. Very good looking, about 30 years old. Even if I know, senorita, I couldn't take a chance in getting a customer in trouble. You understand. He's already in trouble. I'm here to get him out. I'm his wife. De veras? How do I know that? What did you say his name is? Winthrop? Winters. Fred Winters. Oh, Senor Winters, of course. You will find him at Sheridan's compound. Ask for a guy named Charlie Pullum. Thank you very much. And how do I get to Sheridan's compound? You don't get there. Not tonight, senorita. Gambi, take the senorita to her hotel. And you take a taxi cab to the compound in the morning. But I've got to see him tonight. Senorita, you had three strikes against you when you come to this place alone. Don't crowd your luck. Don't be afraid. He will take you to your hotel safely. O te parto la garganta. Andale. Russia. Wanna pull him at the compound? Andale. Shoot at him. Shoot rifles. Scare leopard away. He go that way. You take me, Bonabon. Of course. But first we have to take care of these cuts. Don't go away. Leopard come back. I'll be right back, Jones. Oh, 
Papa! 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 Where, Jonas? Where? Where? I need more towels, Eli. Yes, Warner. Is it very bad, Mr. Barnes? I don't think so. Cuts are not very deep. And the hypo will take care of any infection. Good. Then I'll go pick up the leopard's trail. I suppose you must. Once a cat attacks a human being, it never returns to its rightful prey. That's right. It'll start attacking the villages next. Aye. So you can't see a few days, lad. A man gets hungry for a sight of his own kind in a station like this. Maybe soon. Good luck, Jonas. Bomba, good friend. Goodbye, lad. Try and come back. The sooner, the better. Visitors coming, Mr. Barnes, in a jeep. Visitors? Good. Let them in. See, I'll be with them directly. You better go. It's a young lady. I've got to finish patching up Jonas. Go ahead. She'll not hurt you, lad. Hello, I... Are you Mr. Belden? No, I'm Bamba. Bamba? Isn't this Belden's Landing? No, this is the home of Deputy Commissioner Barnes. Won't you come in? <laughs> Sit down, please. Mr. Barnes in, or are you the commissioner? No, miss. I enjoy that rather dubious honor. Andy Barnes, miss, at your service. I'm Linda Winters. Linda Winters? That name is an oddly familiar ring. But I don't suppose we've ever met. Miss Winters is on her way to Belden's Landing. Belden's Landing? Oh, that's quite a way down the river. You should have turned off the road about 20 miles back. Oh, the driver said that he knew this country like the back of his hand. Well, thank you for setting me right. I... But you can't push on to Belden's. It'll be dark in an hour. And there's a killer leopard on the loose. You'll have to spend the night and make a fresh start in the morning. Well, my husband's making a safari at Belden's, and, and I've got to catch him before he leaves. I'm afraid I'm too late already. I can take care of that for you. G-42 calling Belden's Landing. Andy Barnes calling Jim Belden. Come in, please. Who's your husband's guide? Uh, a, a man named Charlie Pullum. Charlie Pullum? You don't sound as if you approve of Mr. Pullum. Oh, I've nothing against him, really. It's just a rumor. G-42 calling Belden's Landing. Andy Barnes calling Jim Belden. Come in, please. Barnes calling Belden. Come in, please. Urgent. I'll call him later. 
Linda Winters. I can't imagine why that name's so familiar to me. I know I never met you, but... Bomber! It seems we've been entertaining angels unawares. What does that mean? Miss Winters is an American movie star. I think you owe some sort of an explanation. What in the world is a person like yourself doing in this backwash of the jungle? Well, it's no mystery. In fact, it's not even very interesting. You see, my husband... Belden's landing on string G-42. Sorry, Andy. I had trouble with my transmitter. Over. Hello, Jim. Is Charlie Pullum at your place with a man named Winters? Over. They were here, but they left us before noon. Why? Over. Do you know where they went? That was Mrs. Winters. Over. Not exactly, Mrs. Winters. They rigged up a barge on a couple of dugouts and set off down river. Just hunting, I suppose. Over. Thank you very much. That's all, Jim. So long. Oh, well, that's too bad. You'll have to go back to Lagasso and wait for him. That won't do. I've got to find him. There's a crisis back home and no one can straighten it out but Fred. Surely you must be exaggerating, Mrs. Winters. There must be someone. If there were, would I have traveled 8,000 miles? His whole future is at stake in mine, too, probably. I could go after the barge and send him back. Why, of course. And Eli could bring Mrs. Winters in the Jeep to meet us. It would save time. Aye, there's that old abandoned road. It's rough traveling, but... Could we start now? Well, I'm not She'd sure. be safe enough with Eli. Eli! Come in, Guava! Get your rifle, Eli, and four days' food for three people. Yes, Bumble. Will he really be able to overtake the barge? <laughs> you don't know Bumba. Bomba. I've been dying to ask ever since I saw him. He's something I doubt you'll believe. An honest to goodness jungle boy. A jungle boy? Aye. His parents died back in the bush when he was about seven. He grew up among the animals. Just how I'll never know. Ready to go, Bonnie? Well, I'll get the rest of the story from Bomba when I meet him. Goodbye and thanks for everything. Sure, Conji. Be dark time we get camp made. Amula, how's your party?
Gotta make camp, Missy. Focus Yaga. Can't we push on a little farther? The light not good. We might lose road in dark. Make camp start early in the morning. That's good. What makes you think this mine will sell diamonds to us? They can get more for them from the government. It ain't the government what will be selling them, Governor. It's the superintendent. Saunders, his name is. He ain't above making a few quid for himself, he ain't. You know that, or are you just hoping? Well, I've never met the bloke myself, but I've heard stories. He'll do business all right if we walk up to him on the proper side. Time to turn in. The sun comes up blinking early in these parts. Night, Cap. No, thanks. Hey, you better go easy on that grog, Governor. Don't mix with the heat. Your gun water. All cleaned and loaded. Look out! Water. You shoot a devil cat, it come back, it even. Then you mount guard tonight and see that he doesn't. Mamba! Take it easy, Governor. Hello, Bomba. What brings you here? I heard a shot. What happened? We got a visit from a leopard. I know. It's the killer. I've been trailing it. Who's he? I'll tell you later. Is your name Winters? Oh, yes. How did you know? Your wife is traveling downstream by Jeep. She wants you to turn around and meet her. My wife traveling by Jeep wants me to turn back. Yes, I came ahead to tell you. <laughs> Will you tell her I wouldn't turn back if she was queen of the May? Well, she said something serious had come up and... You tell her I've traveled 8,000 miles to get away from her. And I won't have her trailing after me like a mongrel pup with a... Easy, Governor. Stay out of this, Pullum. All I want to know is what you want me to tell her. I'm on my way to the Chatham Diamond Fields to... to hunt rhinos. Where I'm going from there, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't tell you if I did. She's come thousands of miles to see you. You tell her to go back where she came from. I'm through with her and her phony friends. Do I make myself clear? You make yourself clearer than you think, Mr. Winters. Hey, what is this all about a wife what travels halfway around the blinking world after you? My wife is Linda Winters. Does that mean anything to you? Linda Winters, the movie star? Right. You're married to her and you're sweating your heart out in this stinking jungle? <laughs> Blimey, how crazy can a man get? You think that's good? Having a wife who makes thousands as a star while I make a hundred as a bookkeeper? Doling it out to me as if I were a charity case? Don't sound bad to me, Governor. Yeah, well, I'm sick of being Mr. Linda Winters. I'm breaking away so I can make something of myself on my own before it's too late. 
Well, if you ask me, the girl's in love with you. Well, I'm going to get some sleep. Yeah, I'd advise you to go a bit easy on that grog, Governor. Kanzi? Keep an eye on things in case that cat comes back. Yes, Barney. Plunder with it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's get after it. Uh, we ain't got a prayer. There's a four-mile current, and we can't travel through the bush in the dark. Why didn't you tie it fast, you lazy good-for-nothing? Did tie it fast, Buara. Look. Oh, it's been cut. Cut? Well, it's crazy. Who do you suppose to gain by doing a thing like that? That jungle boy. He thought he could make me turn back. Yes, and he's done just that, if you ask me. Yeah, well, nobody's asking you. And I wouldn't turn back if I had to crawl to the mine on my hands and knees. Ah, you're off your blinking rocker. Look, don't tell me it won't work. I know better. It'll work all right, but it won't be no bank holiday. I promise you that. So? So? I'll have to charge you double the guide rates. Well, that's a robbery. I'm hardly in a position to argue. Yeah, we ain't taking none of that with us, Governor. Look, I don't need anybody to pass judgment on my morals. It ain't a matter of morals. I ain't taking no chances on carrying you out on me back. Either that stays or I do. Brush too thick for Jeep, Missy. Make noon camp here and go on afoot. Walking's too slow. Can't we go back and find a way through? Have to go too far from river. Might miss men coming back. Keep quiet. 
Can't chase anything that runs. I guess you can finish your lunch now, Missy. Seems to have lost my appetite. Yes, I found him, but I'll have to tell you about it on the shore. It's too dangerous here. Crocodile. We can't go ashore. Look. Are you a good swimmer? Not very. Well, rest your hand on my shoulder. We'll have to tread water until the cat leaves. Water buffalo. Can we go ashore? I'm tired. The buffalo's more dangerous than the cat. going ashore. I can't make it. Yes, I found him. I bet he was glad I was here. And surprised, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Very surprised. I'll be glad to get him out of here. Onto a plane for home. Why? Why? What a question. What is there for people like us in this, this jungle? Why, there's everything here that I want. Have you ever been to the big city, Bamba? Well, then you wouldn't understand. 
fun, the parties, the lights, the beautiful girls. As beautiful as you are? Oh, thank you. You know, Bamba, you'd be something of a sensation in Hollywood yourself. Maybe you'd like to come back with us and... and uh... Would you want me to? <sighs> I'd better change into some dry duds. I'll be with you in a jiffy. What did Fred say when you told him I was here? I don't think he believed me at first. I was afraid he might not even come to meet you. You persuaded him without too much trouble, I hope. I persuaded him <laughs> without too much difficulty. What do we do now? Make camp and wait for them? No, we'll lose too much time. We'll need some provisions, Eli. Mrs. Winters and I are going on ahead to meet her husband. We wait for you here? No, follow along as best you can in the Jeep to pick up the party. Bruce very thick along River Bamba. I know, but stay as close to it as you can so you don't miss us. Miss Bamba. You ready? Yes, of course. You seem anxious to get rid of me. I've got to find that killer leopard. Maitland, it's good to see you. Barnes, how are you? Hiya, Divas. Hi, Barnes. I hope somebody would show up to share a lonely man's lunch. I'm afraid we haven't got time for that, sir. Just stop in for a breather. With the hope there'd be something cool to drink, which I see there is. Fine chairs. I'll get you some glasses. Where are you off to in such a rush? Belden's Landing. Hope to catch a chap there before he shows off into the bush. Oh? Uh, anyone I know? I doubt it. There's an American named Winters. Winters? What's he wanted for? Questioning. He works for an American film company. His accounts are short. So that's it. I'm afraid he's wanting for something more than questioning. Well, you know something about the case, sir? Well, his wife showed up a couple of days ago, looking for him. I shot wave Belden's. They said he'd already started downriver. His guide is Charlie Fulham. Fulham? That scum. Aye, when she found he'd gone, I thought she was going to faint. We didn't know anything about a wife. You think she's mixed up in this? Ah, uh, hardly. She's a movie star, Linda Winters. Well, even so, she might have wanted to warn him, even help him escape. That's possible. She certainly was in a state. But where is she now, sir? Do you know? Well, I sent her in the jeep with Eli to try and overtake him. Bamba was here at the same time, and he went on ahead to catch Winters and send him back to her. Looks like there's more of this than we suspected. And we're wasting valuable time. Sorry to drink and run, sir. Don't apologize. I understand. Go Sorry on. I talk so much. Right, sir. time. The ashes are cold. Well, they must have passed us on the way. They couldn't have passed us. I would have known about it. But they did. They must have. Wait. Well, they didn't go upstream. Four men would have left a broad path. Where else could they have gone? Well, they said they were headed for the Chatham Mines. I wonder if they could have done that. They've gone to the mine on foot. I thought you said Fred was glad I was here, that he was coming to meet me. I thought he was. I thought I'd fixed it so he'd have to. Fixed it so he had to? 
You mean he... He didn't want to. No, he didn't want to. Linda, do you love him? Well, I'm his wife. But do you love him? I don't know, Bamba. I did when we were married. Then I started to get some small successes, and each one seemed to drive him further away from me. I saw it coming, and I, I tried to keep our marriage off the rocks. I even encouraged him to make this trip. I, I thought if he was away from me, he might... Now he's in trouble, and I still have a crazy sort of loyalty for the man he used to be. What sort of trouble is he in? He stole some money. A lot of money. The accountant's holding back his report until I can find Fred. If he'll come back and face the music, I'll, I'll make good what he stole. It doesn't make sense, does it? It does, coming from a girl like you. Well, I guess I'm as foolish as you are. We'll need some of that food they left. You mean you'll take me to him? Are you sure you can find that trail? We'll take an easier way. It's longer, but it's much quicker. Better leave a note for Eli so he'll know where we are. I told you to be no schoolboy's holiday, mate. Yeah, well, that's the understatement of the year. Well, we can still turn back if the going's too hard for you. I can go anywhere you can, my friend. Well, we better carry on. It's a long way to water. Well, I'm ready. I'm not carrying that pack any farther. And who do you think's going to do it for you, might I ask? Now, what's the matter with the bears? That's what they're getting paid for, isn't it? Ah, they're overloaded as it is. Then leave it where it lies. I'm Dealey, I'm Dealey, Kokomo. Take a rest every five minutes. We dark by the time we get to the water roll. We may as well spend the night where we are. But the canteens are empty, man. That means dry camp for the night. Then we'll have to camp dry. I can't make it without rest. Well, if you can't, you can't. That's all there is to it. Where's the boys? Stop farther down the trail for a rest. Oh, well, there must be some reason for them wanting a rest. Conji! Blimey, how do I get into these things? Conji! Conji! From here on out, you pack your own grub or go hungry. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Our boys have gone home. Done? Well, let's get after them. Well, you go after them. I'm too perishing tired myself. 
Now, I'd enjoy seeing you hanging from the end of a rope, Mr. Pullum. Hey, you know something? I'd enjoy it myself after the company I've been keeping lately. If I had just dropped off to sleep. <laughs> the sun's been up an hour. Have you got breakfast ready? How could I? You've been sleeping on the groceries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bamba, sometimes I envy your jungle. It's beautiful. You needn't envy it, Linda. It belongs to anyone who loves it. It could belong to you. Not for long. My world is very far from here. I suppose it is. Will we be at the mine soon? Sometime tomorrow. Good morning, Eli. Oh, good morning, Bonner Maitland. Good morning, sir. Like me fix breakfast, Bonner? Thanks, Eli. We've eaten. How do you happen to be here? Where's the jeep? I left jeep up river at other chap. Brush too heavy. Come here on foot. This winter's camp? Yes, Buana. Well, where is everybody? Not know. Got here last night. Somebody left note on tent flat. Eli, Bomba and I have gone to Chatham Mines to meet my husband. Wait for us here with the jeep. Linda Winters. Chatham Mines? I thought our job was done when we got to this camp. We've only got a good start. Oh, cheer up, Sarge. It's not every track that has a movie star waiting at the end of it. You like to take food, Blonde? We have plenty. Thanks, Eli. We'll travel faster if we travel light. Bamba. Don't leave me, Bamba, please. It was the killer leopard. He got away. It's safe now. Well, how about it, Governor? You feel like carrying on, or would you rather turn back? I told you I'd never turn back. Not if I have to drop in my tracks. Spoken like a man. And just for that, old Charlie's got a surprise for you, he has. Take a peep over that rim ahead. You mean we're there? Don't kid me, Pullum. I don't think I could take it. Well, have a look for yourself. That? That's the mine down there? That's her. How do we get down to it? Jump? Well, that'll be the quickest way, but be safer to take the trail. What is all this? We got business with Buona Saunders, we have. Not need guns to talk business. Lay them down, please. Better do what he says. Now the pistols. And try no tricks, please. To 
call him Angawa. Now we see Buana Sanders. Sanders. Here, have your man lower the hammer on the musket, will you? Gives a bloke a proper chill, it does. What's it all about, Daniel? We see men come down mountain. They come through fence, we take guns. A lovely reception, I calls it, for men what are here on a matter of important business. Why sneak in the back way if you're here on business? It's a shortcut in from Belden's. Here, meet Mr. Winters, my friend. He's all the way from America, he is. America? That's right. And I'm Charlie Pullum. You probably heard of me. Yes. I have heard of you, Mr. Pullum. Nothing but the best, I'll wager. Come inside, won't you? Wait out here, Daniel. Take your packs off and pull up a couple of chairs. What was it you wanted to see me about? This friend of mine would like to pick up a couple of diamonds at the source of supply, so to speak. I suspected as much. Of course, you know that's against the law, don't you? Who lets the law stand in the way of a man making an honest shilling? How do you know I don't? A friend of mine whispered in me ear. Narky Billings, his name is. Narky Billings? Yes, he says as how they pay you such a perishing wage, you have to sell a couple of stones once in a while in order to keep from starving. He's right about the salary at any rate. Of course, you being a friend of Naki's alters matters somewhat. Uh, how much did you intend to invest? Uh, say $20,000, whatever that may be in pounds. $20,000? You offer a very tempting bait, Mr. Winters. Would you care to join me in a drink? Yes, thanks. I never touch the stuff myself, only as a medicine. You know, it's funny, I've got a touch of fever coming on again. <laughs> Mr. Crime. Here's Al. How many of these marbles would you expect for 20,000? Well, seeing as how they're not yours, you can afford to be generous. Here's where we leave the river and go into the mountains. Is it very far? Well, less than an hour. Now that we're nearly there, I almost wish I hadn't come. Why? Well, I don't know. It's just a feeling I've got. Kind of a hunch, I guess you'd call it. Do you want to turn back? Well, that'd be pretty silly, wouldn't it, after traveling nearly 8,000 miles? Maybe not. I hold a lot of faith in hunches. I'm afraid I'd never forgive myself if I didn't see it through. And one for luck. Here, ain't you forgot something, Mr. Winters? Oh, yeah. You're a pound of flirt. You know how it is, what with high taxes and all. You look fair done in, you do for effect. 
Yeah, well, nothing that these won't cure. Why don't you have a bit of sleep while Mr. Saunders and I have a look-see about the diggings? If you don't mind, sir. As you wish. Rest fast, Governor. We've got a long trek ahead. Brought you a fair bit of business, Governor, right? So? So, where's my divvy? Uh, Winter's paid you already. That was for the favor I'd done him, not for the one I'd done for you. Fair's fair, mate. Mm, how much would you call fair? Well, uh, I dare say I could ask for half, but uh, I'd be willing to settle for a third, I would. <laughs> no doubt you would. I'll give you a hundred pounds. Hundred quid? Well, the man's off his blinking onion. He start raving mad, he is. That's my last offer. Take it or leave it. You're in no position to haggle, Mr. Saunders. I hold all the trumps. All right, play them. That I will. There's a standard reward out for information such as I can give the police. Oh, a bit of blackmail, is that it? Call it what you like. I know me rights, I do. Either you pay up or I'm... Oh. gun on me. I fired in self-defense. I didn't mean to kill him. That's very bad, Juana. That's all of that. How can I explain this to his friend? You two take him and hide him somewhere, in one of the caves, anywhere. But get him out of sight. But the police, Juana, they won't like I'll it. take care of them later. Just get him out of sight while I think of some way to get rid of his friend. All right, don't stand there staring at each other. Do what I said. Yes, Juana. Sorry to wake you, but this is important. What's the matter? I got Pullum out of the office so we could have a bit of a chat in private. How much do you know about this guy of yours? Practically nothing. Why? I know him by reputation from way back. Naki Billings, his pal, gave me his pedigree. He's a bad one. Well, I wouldn't say you and I are model citizens ourselves. Quite. But a man who would inform on his pals is a bit lower than low. Inform? What are you getting at? Well, well, maybe I ought to keep my nose out of this. But, well, you put me in the way of a good thing. And I'd like you to know that I appreciate it. You're talking over my head, Saunders. I must draw your diagram. You take those stones and clear out before Pullen gets back. Without a guide, I'll be lost inside of an hour. Hmm. The trail leads to my landing on the river. Take a boat downstream to Portuguese country. That's my advice. Take it or leave it. You said too much, Saunders, and too little. Now, why should I run out on Pullum? As long as you're on British soil, he can turn you in for the reward. He wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't he? He's done it three times that I know of. Collected from a sucker, then sold him out. If he tried that on me, I... You'd kill him and be hanged for it. However, what you do now is up to you. I've done my part. Your story smells, Saunders. I can't picture you doing anything nice for anybody out of the goodness of your heart. Well, if you must know, I can't let you be nabbed by the police. They trace the stones right back here to me. <laughs> now, that's a story I can buy. That makes sense. 
keep your eye on Pullen till I'm well on my way. Uh, right on. What about provisions? Well, there's a trading post a few miles downstream. So long and good luck. Say hello, Fred. Did your jungle boyfriend give you my message? Yes. I think he toned it down a little bit to save my feelings, but he told me. And what did you follow me for? Do you think you could change my mind by crying on my shoulder? I'm through crying on your shoulder, Fred. I've done too much of that in the past. Then we got nothing left to talk over, have we? Yes, we have. You've got to go back with me, Fred. Look, get this straight, Linda. I'm through with you. Is that clear enough? I wouldn't go back to you if I don't it... want you to come back to me. But they've discovered your embezzlement. You're lying. They couldn't have. How would I have known about it if they hadn't told me? Well, I, I thought that the book so it would take years. Your boss stumbled on it by accident. He held back his report until I could find you and bring you back. Bring me back? So I could go to jail for five years? Oh, what a pal. You won't have to go to jail, Fred. I've arranged to take care of the money you've stolen. So you can play the role of injured heroine, huh? Oh, how you'd love that. I can see your phony friends now crying in their highballs and saying, have you heard the latest about that husband of dear Linda's? How she can go on putting up with that guy, I'll never know. Fred, please. Oh, they've been a laughing at me for years. Linda Winters and her bookkeeper husband. Living in our home, driving our cars, spending our money. Well, you can tell them I'm through being a nobody. I'd rather go to jail and go back to them and you. Fred. Stay out of this. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. All right, get up. Linda. What are you going to do with him? He had his chance to go back and make good. Now he's going to the police. You can't do that to me. I'm on my way to a fortune. Look, these are diamonds. I'll give you part of them, half, but you can't send me to the police. You better get started. It's a long way to the commissioners. Cat in that tree. It might be the killer leopard. It is. Get in that cave where you'll be safe.
What is all this? I was just taking a shot at that panther. We saw what you were shooting at, and it wasn't a dead panther. How badly hurt are you, Bomba? Not bad. Mostly tired. Who is this man? His name is Winters. His wife is in that cave. I think she's hurt. She tried to stop him from killing me. Have a look, Divas. What's this? Just some personal belongings. Diamond. Where did you get these? I, I found them. No law against that, is there? It's a felony even having them in your possession. Take it easy, miss. Is Bombo all right? Clawed up a bit. Nothing serious. Charlie Pullum, Sergeant. Shot through the heart. This seems to be your busy day, Mr. Winters. Didn't do it. Honest, I didn't. Who did? I, I don't know. The last I saw of Pullum, he's with Saunders. Saunders, huh? Well, we'll just pick Mr. Saunders up. Have those wounds look to Bomba and head back to the commissioner. All right, Winters. say you'll be glad to get back to civilization again, Mrs. Winters. Indeed, I shall. Linda. 